Sometimes when you lose something, sometimes when something is stolen from you or something is taken away from you, something else will come that means just as much as that or is, how am I trying to say this? Sometimes you can lose something to gain something else. And what happened yesterday with my moped being stolen is a perfect example of that because what I gained, not only all of the awesome, amazing support all of you showed for After Prison Show and for me and for my little red moped, I also gained something else and I want to share that with you in this video. I'm not sure if you remember or not, but this was around the time when I shot the video with Levi explaining how After Prison Show first came about. And through a comment that I responded to on that video, I said that After Prison Show actually truly began the day that I was released from prison with another individual that I had lost contact with and there was actually footage of my release and my first day in the free world. Now when I mentioned that, I started receiving so many comments about wanting to see this footage. Where is this footage? Oh my God, you have to upload this footage. And I could only respond by saying, I don't have the footage. The person who shot the footage for me, I hadn't been in contact with for over a year. So I doubt there was ever going to be a way for me to get that footage again. And lo and behold, the craziest damn thing happens on the day that my fucking scooter is stolen from me. I get a notification on my phone from Twitter saying your friend Matt J is now on Twitter. And I saw this notification and it almost instantaneously hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, Matt J, holy shit. Matt J is the individual, my good friend, who was there on the day of my release and who actually shot this footage for me. This was so ironic and coincidental and just unbelievable that a Twitter notification was how I was reconnected with my good friend Matt. We immediately got back in contact with each other. I'm on the phone with Matt as soon as I get this notification on Twitter. Holy shit, Matt, it has been almost a year. How the hell have you been? And after talking for a while, of course I asked Matt, hey, what are the chances? What are the chances you still have that footage of the day I was released? I know it was a year ago. But what are the chances? And because Matt is just an amazing, unbelievably awesome dude, he told me, Joe, of course I still have that footage. So what follows in this video is that footage from the day that I was released from prison. Now mind you, I wanted this footage absolutely destroyed, okay? Because this person that you are seeing in this footage, though it is me, you have to understand, this is me after being locked away in a prison for seven years. You may not understand me too well. I know people have commented in the past and say, you sort of talk with a prison accent. And if you don't understand what that means, then watching these videos that will be included here will certainly give you a better understanding of what a prison accent sounds like. I am not proud of how this footage turned out, okay? And mind you, please, do not hate me for this, okay? I was fresh home to the free world after seven years locked away. I was excited. I didn't know how to act. I didn't, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. But without further ado, fuck it. Here is the first clip from my first day home from prison. And this is actually me after I had just been released. Please forgive me. I don't even know what to say. I can only imagine. I mean, look at the way my shirt looks. I mean, my sleeve is up here. My t-shirt is down here. I, I don't understand it. You know what? I was just happy to be free. You can actually see the truck in the background. It's called the perimeter truck or whatever. This truck literally does not ever stop circling the prison 24 seven. This truck is just making laps around the prison. 
all day and all night. You can hear the gate actually closing in the background after I have been let out of the prison. And it's a horrible fucking clip. I mean, this is embarrassing, folks. This, this truly is embarrassing. This next clip, God forgive me. This is such a, this is such a horrible clip. This next clip is actually my first stop after leaving prison at a 7-Eleven where for whatever reason I decide to take off my clothes in the 7-Eleven parking lot. I'm not proud, oh my, what am I doing? And then we go inside the 7-Eleven and you'll never believe what the very first thing I wanted after being released from prison after seven years was. Yeah, well, we just, 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 just interact, man. Do what you well, gonna do. So here I am. This is the first stop. We're sitting here at 7-Eleven. I'm playing with this brand new phone right here. I don't even know how to use one of these things yet. So this thing is all new to me. And uh, we're here at 7-Eleven trying to get some things because there's been a lot of things on my mind that I have definitely been missing and been wanting to get. And, um... Like snacks. Yeah, snacks. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about a Slurpee first thing this morning. Um, I don't know. I just want to go in a store. Because let me tell you, we've been riding in the car for about five minutes now, and it's it's been about the craziest damn thing I could ever tell you about, because uh, I couldn't even tell you when the last time I rode in the car was. So, we're going to go in here and see what we can get. Should we get the car? Should we get the car? No, we don't need the car right now. First Slurpee. First Slurpee in forever. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I've had my mind on one of these for, for a long time now, so I'm pretty happy to get this. Yeah. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, some sunglasses would be awesome. I was thinking about going to Walmart to get some cheap shades. I can't I can't believe I'm putting all of this in this in these videos I should have just said that you know this footage was lost forever we never could recoup this footage um there's one last clip that I'm gonna show you in this video and this is actually me trying to learn to use a phone this was on the day that I was released from prison after I was handed a brand new smartphone, never before seeing a smartphone, and trying to figure out how to use this thing. This is a horrible clip. This is not good at all. I am embarrassed by this. I can't emphasize that enough. But here it goes. I need some pointers. I'm not doing too well with this. Oh shit, it's recording. I hit record. Huh? What's recording? Is this recording? Is this recording? Yeah, but we could actually tape what's going on hello fuck how did I lose a call hey what's up everyone Joe here Fresh home after seven years and feeling crazy as hell. I'm dealing with zero sleep right now and zero food after about three hours of being free and trying to adjust to a world that seems to be nothing but smart technology, tablets, keyboards, instructions that I don't even understand. But uh, it's been good nonetheless. I've been having a great time getting in touch with people that I haven't heard from in forever and just really enjoying life. Being able to walk outside and do whatever I want to do, not having a CEO yelling in my face. I've been loving it, and there's a lot more to come, and I hope all of you stay tuned to see this incredible adventure that's going to be me trying to transition back into society, getting a job, dealing with probation, dealing with family and friends, and just reintegrating myself back into a world that seems to be moving at 100 miles an hour. So I hope all of y'all stay tuned to see all the craziness that's sure to come. I like that. Yeah, I like that one too. Yeah, that was me. Skinny, pretty in shape though, I guess, I don't know. You would have figured prison would have made me bigger. Maybe I just wasn't eating enough while I was in prison. I was pretty skinny, 
Played a lot of sports though, so I'm guessing that's part of why I look so thin. Hey look, compare that Joe to this Joe. I like to think that I talk a heck of a lot better now, though I may talk with a lisp and a speech impediment still sometimes. The prison accent is pretty much gone, but I figured why not? I lost something very important to me yesterday, but I also gained something just as important. Actually, I gained like three things that were just as important. Contact again with my good friend, Matt. The lost video clips of my release that I never thought I would see again. And third, and just as important as any of the previous two, I gained knowledge of just how much all of you out there love and care for not only me, but after prison show. And that truly means a lot to me. As I wrap this video up, I do want to shout out the individuals who donated to the crowdfunding campaign in an effort to help me replace the moped that was stolen. I want to shout you out by name specifically right now. I've literally wrote down all of your names. Tim Reynolds, Bryson Turner, Brandon Galamez, Cruz Cherry Holmes, Jack W, Daniel Frosto, Anonymous, Matthew Justiano, Jake Akers, Robert Quinn, David H, Jeremy Owens, Tegan Scott, Austin Adams, Josiah Hall, Jake Ingram, there's a lot of names here, Cole Simpson, Nancy Gandolfo, Gandolfo, I'm sorry, Ben Leitner, Richard Bates, and to the person who actually created the GoFundMe account, Josh Taban. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to each and every one of you out there. If I mispronounced any of your names, I truly apologize for that. Not only do I speak with a lisp and a speech impediment, I can hardly read as well. I'm kidding. Hey look, I truly hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know exactly what you think. After Prison Show will rebound from this. Sometimes you have to go through a minor setback to make a major comeback. Keep that in mind for whatever you're going through out there as well. Until next time, enjoy life the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day.